Four months ago, I moved to a small town known as Hoenn Harbor. Upon arrival, I met five individuals, who I now call my best friends. Hell, one of them became my boyfriend. All throughout those four months, my friends and I embraced the ups and downs of romance. While some found their way to one another, others were heartbroken. Now here we are as the new chapter of our journey begins. Brand new relationships, friendships, misadventures, drama, and most of all, a brand new me. And thus continues the story of The New Romantics. Since I last made a post, a month had passed since Mark and I hooked up. For the entire month, we were alone together, while Chad and Terry left town for winter break. Our time together was both romantic and peaceful, similar to a newlywed couple on their honeymoon. Yeah, it was heavenly bliss between Mark and I. But I knew this time alone together wouldn't last long. The month-long break had come to a close, and thus the new semester began. Ugh. My love, it's time to wake up. Wouldn't want to be late to classes on our first day back. Ugh. It's morning already? Jeez, time flies when you're having fun. Speaking of fun... Wanna have some fun right now? <laughs> Tempting, honey. But it's the first day of the new semester. And you know I hate being late. You and your love for education. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse. <sighs> and so it begins. So remind me again how long you'll be gone? Three hours. Ugh! It's too long, my love. <laughs> it's out of my control, hunk. Don't worry, dude. I'll be back eventually. And when I am, we can hang out. You and me. Me and you. Radical. I love you. I love you too. See you in a few hours. Top of the morning, boys! Terry! You're finally back! Welcome home, Brian! Good to be back indeed. That one month workout retreat felt more like six months if you ask me. They were missing all of the sexy fitness girls. Ah, <sighs> they were great in bed. Uh, hold on, dude. Wasn't Chad with you? <gasps> Holy crap! I almost forgot about him! You can come in now, Chadster! Guys, I'd like for you to meet the new Chad Newton! Holy crap! Hey guys, long time no see. No kidding! You're ripped now, bro! Thanks in part to me, myself and I, with help from the Terry Tenny Six Back in 30 Days workout, patent pending, our buddy was able to slim down and achieve the perfect physique. In only 30 days? Hard to believe, right? It's one of the joys of fiction. Admittedly, I just wanted to lose weight and start eating better. But Terry convinced me to go further. As a result, I did go further, and eventually got hooked on building muscle. Now here I stand, feeling incredible and healthy. Not to mention you look hot, man. Ah, muy guapo. Dude, I'm really proud of you for taking charge of your life and living a healthier one. <gasps> oh crap, I forgot about my class. 
I'd better get out of here before I'm late. Later, guys! Later! See you later, buddy! Thanks for helping out, Melody. Not a problem. So tell me all about your vacation in the Bahamas. To be honest, it was enjoyable, but nothing eventful happened. Seriously? That's all you have to say? Underwhelming much? <laughs> Sorry. Enough about my meh vacation. How have you and Trenton been? It's been... okay, I suppose. Hmm? You suppose? Ah. <sighs> What I mean is that we're fine, but not exactly in a good place. Oh my. Tell me everything! Very well. One night while Trenton and I got really intimate with one another, I learned of his desire to stay a virgin until marriage. <gasps> no way! Yup. A guy as sexy and attractive as him is still a virgin. Anyways, ever since the reveal, it's been super awkward between us. Especially when being intimate. Aww. Sorry to hear that, girl. I admire Trenton's decision, but hate seeing your relationship with him in a funk. <gasps> I just remembered something that did happen in the Bahamas! Okay. Go on. I had an epiphany! About? Details, woman! Right. I had an epiphany relating to my feelings for Chad. I'm in love with him, Melody. Yeah. I knew that already, so did the viewers. But now you're admitting it, so that's progress. May as well be. I've been holding on to these feelings for too long, and feel like I'll explode. The minute I see him, I'll spill the beans. Whoa, they are suddenly love-struck. Remember how you put Chad in the mental purgatory known as the friend zone a month ago? What makes you think he's still into you? Come on, Melody. That's all in the past. I'm certain Chad let that go. He's not one to hold any grudges. Fair enough. Well, good luck to you. You'll get a chance to catch up with him when we all meet up at the cafe later. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a law class to be at in five minutes. Very well. See you later! <sighs> oh, Chad. <laughs> I can't wait to tell you the great news! Hey, honey. Thomas! Well, here I am. Now let's hang out. You and me. Sorry, dude, but I can't. As much as I'd love to, I've got an afternoon class to go to in five minutes. Uh oh I'm sorry, man. You know I'd love to, but I... It's all good. School comes first. Cool beans. We'll hang out later on tonight, okay? Sounds good. Tell the others I'm sorry for bailing. Later, man. Later. I'll miss you, Hunk. Where's Mark off to in such a hurry? Afternoon class. Bummer. He's going to miss out on the first group gathering of the new semester. Feel the burn! Uh... Oops. Sorry about that. Terry and I just got back from a workout. Because of it, I feel energized and ready to take on the world! Told you the workout was the hype. Hey guys! Long time no- Sweet mother of Arceus! Well, I'll be! Holy hell! He was already cute, but now... Uh, now he's sexy! <laughs> I expected those reactions. I must say, Chad, I find it impressive that you attained quite the physique in such a short period of time. The power of the Terry Tenny six pack in 30 days workout! Patent pending. 30 days? Sounds too unrealistic, and you know, impossible. Then it's a good thing this show is fiction, am I right? Anyways, it's nice seeing you all again. Hmm? Blaine? You there, buddy? Uh, so hot. Blaine! Huh? Oh, right. Hey, Chad! Hi. Everything good? Yeah, uh, everything is uh, good. <sighs> you guys take a seat while I grab the coffee. Want to catch up outside? Sounds good to me. Chad and I will be right back. Long time no see, Taipei. 
Likewise, sex machine. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, I missed you all the way. You're all I could think about, beautiful. Hot. But I hope your time away didn't make you forget about my current relationship. Even if it's on the rocks. Hmm? Are you and Trenton alright? Ugh, we're fine. It's just that he's insisted on not having sex until marriage. I see. So in other words, you've got that feeling and need some TLS. TLS? Tender love and sex. Ah, sadly I must decline. I'm not desperate for sex. You don't have to be desperate to want some TLS. Still no. <laughs> Fine. Have I been forgotten in this scene? Looks like the writer screwed up. I'm sure it'll be fixed later on. The coffee has arrived. Awesome. Thanks, Trenton. You're a saint, honey. Now it's time for a scene transition before boredom strikes. Activate! So, let's talk. First things first. I missed you, buddy. I missed you, too. <sighs> we have so much to catch up on. I know, right? I guess I'll start with the lingering elephant in the room. Are you over the, uh... The friend zone fallout? Yeah, I'm over that. While shedding pounds, I managed to put the whole ordeal behind me. I had to in order to move forward. So you're not mad at me? Well, you know, I can't be mad at you for too long. We're best friends. Huh, <laughs> right. Best friend. Hmm? Blaine, you're blushing. Are you okay? Chad, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. No sense in beating around the bush. I... Uh, I love you. Say what? You heard me. I said I love you. During my vacation, I had an epiphany. It was my realization of loving you, and how we're meant to be! I... I... I know this is all so sudden, but I firmly believe that you and I are more than just friends. Uh, I'm sorry, Blaine. I can't do it. Wait, why? Because I'm... not interested. Excuse me?! Blaine, I got over you as part of moving forward. No, I don't believe this. I waited a whole month for this, and you claim to be over me? This isn't a claim. I'm really sorry for this ironic dilemma between us, but please know that I only view you as a friend from here on out. Try to understand- No! You're not over me! I refuse to believe that! Come on, Blaine. Don't do this. I'm not giving up on us. I won't let go! <sighs> I really thought this would have turned out better. I guess I was wrong. I think it's best if I bail on the coffee hangout. It's obvious we still need some time apart. This isn't over, Chad! I know you still love me and refuse to give up on us! I love you. I love you too. In the mood to get a little playful? <laughs> I'm always in the mood, baby. Good to know. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go all the way. Melody, no. S stop. But you and I... That's enough! Get off! Ugh! Fine! Baby, I thought we discussed this already. You know I have no interest in sex until marriage! Why must you persist in trying to have sex with me? Gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because I like you! You said you were okay with all of this a month ago. I lied, okay? I freaking lied about being okay! How in the hell can I be okay with this? Trenton, let's be honest here. You're built like a Greek god with a heart of gold. You mean a lot to me. I figured that because of how special you were to me, we'd go all the way. Melody, I'm honored to be a special somebody. But I can't just go back on my word. I made a solemn vow to have sex after being married, knowing that whoever I'm with will be my one and only. You know what? I'm done here. Sorry for my impatience, but I refuse to deal with any more intimacy if all it's going to lead to are passionate makeout sessions. Melody, please. I need some time alone. 
See you later. Melody, wait! <sighs> I'm sorry, beautiful. Sorry that I can't give you everything. Come on, Terry. How are you not bothered by the show's inconsistency? Boobs, bro. Really, dude? Yes, really! A huge pair of boobs can easily distract me. Why else would they have them dangling in our faces every five minutes? It's times like this when I'm glad to be gay. <laughs> Anyways, back on the subject of inconsistency, you wouldn't believe what happened earlier today. You bailing on us? I had a legit reason, okay? That being... My awkward conversation with Blaine. We started playing catch-up, when all of a sudden she expresses an interest in loving me. <gasps> no no way! way! After the reveal, I declined the offer and bailed in order to give Blaine some space. She didn't take it too well. So let me get this straight. You turned down an offer to be with your crush. Why? Seriously, Thomas? I'm not into her anymore. I call BS. I do too. I'm not kidding, guys! I'm over Blaine! No, you're not, buddy. I find that hard to believe. Your feelings for Blaine have been around for seven years. Most people give up on a love like that, but you waited seven years to finally do what others wouldn't dare, confess your feelings. Chad, you're clearly in denial right now. Do you actually think your feelings for Blaine can just magically disappear in a month? Uh, I... I understand that you're trying to move forward, but be honest with yourself, dude. You'll never let go of Blaine. LIAR! I AM over her! I'm certain of that! Jeez. He's knee-deep in denial. He'll eventually come around. How long do you think it'll take? I don't know. Maybe a few days? Chad can be stubborn when in denial. <laughs> no kidding. Home at last! Sup, guys? <gasps> Honey, you're finally home! I missed you. I missed you too, my love. Now we can finally hang out. You and me. Ugh. Sorry, hunk. But I'm too exhausted. After today, all I want to do is rest. But... You promised. I'm sorry, sexy. Maybe tomorrow. Buenas noches, bro hands! I waited all afternoon for him. Sounds like you need some TLS, Thomas. If you've got that feeling, perhaps we could- No, Terry, you're straight. Ah, <sighs> very well. How about some ab touching then? This usually helps Mark when he's got a six-pack craving, or just needs comfort. How about it, bro? Ah, <sighs> sure. Why not? Awesome! Whenever you're ready, bro! Morning, sexy. Morning. Sorry about last night. That's all good. Cool bands. Come at me, hunk. I will. I hate stopping, my love. But alas, class starts in 30 minutes. So be it. I'm a free man all day, so we can hang out later. Sounds great, but I'll be busy for most of the day. Ugh! I'm tired of you suddenly being busy! The feeling is mutual. Excuse me? You missed out on hanging out with me twice in one day. I had class and was exhausted, dude! You broke your promises! So did you! Ugh! I don't have time for this. I'll be late if I don't leave now. We'll talk about this later. Adios mio. In only 24 hours since the semester started, so much has changed. And I hate it! Unfortunately, this was only a prelude. The struggle between Mark and I had only gotten worse by the end of the day. I swear, if Tachu and Chesley break up, I'll be pissed! They're so perfect to- Hmm? Who could that be? Uh, sweet mother of Arceus. Hi there, sexy. I thought I'd drop by and... Spend some quality time together. 
Blaine? Go on. Why so hesitant? Don't you want me? N no. Please stop. Just admit it, hunk. You want me. Hey, Chad, I was wondering if you... Uh... Did I just step into a paw now? I'm just going to quietly back away. Cheerio! B Blaine, b b please stop. I, I feel uncomfortable. I can fix that, sexy. Just hold still. My love. Stop! That's enough, Blaine! Sure thing, buddy. As soon as you admit the truth. Ah, Fine! I'm not over you, okay? Are you happy now? I knew it! Blaine, it doesn't change anything. I may not be over you, but romance between us is still off the table. Are you serious? Blaine, do you have any idea how hard it was to accept you as just a friend? I worked really hard to embrace that reality. And now you expect me to just say, I love you? So that's it, huh? You know what? I give up. You and Chad. I guess we're just friends in your eyes, right? Blaine. Screw you! I knew it was a mistake to do this. I should have known I was too late. Hold on. Blaine, I didn't mean to- See you later. Friend. Blaine, I- I'm sorry, my love. I didn't mean to hurt you. I seriously question if we're still a romantic comedy because this season premiere has been super dramatic. Thanks for meeting me here. Not a problem, beautiful. I'm actually surprised you called on me for help. It's because I knew you'd come. Plus, you give the best advice. I see. So what's going on? You look distraught. Trenton and I had a fallout last night. I blame myself for not being honest about my feelings towards Trenton's sex until marriage mentality. Now I feel like crap for coming off as a horn dog who just wants sex. Okay, first off, major props for admitting that. Second, you shouldn't feel bad for having an urge. It's natural to feel that way when in a relationship. I should know. I get it. You're essentially itching for sex. But keep in mind that there's more to a relationship than just sex. Look at the bigger picture, Melody. I know you really love Trenton. You're not actually going to let sexual urges get in the way of your relationship, right? No. Thought so. <sighs> I need to apologize. I refuse to let this dilemma linger. That's a girl. Thanks for the advice. Anything for you, my love. Best of luck on fixing things with Trenton. Thanks. See you later. I love you, Melody. One day we'll be together. My love. Mark? What are you doing? Waiting for you, hunk. Now that you're finally home, we can get physical. Uh, m Mark? Go ahead. Touch my body and embrace me. Right here on the couch. I'd love to, hot stuff, but I've got homework. Come on! Not even sex! Mark, I can't just skip out on my schoolwork! So naturally you skip out on your boyfriend, right? You should be the one to talk! Last night I wanted to have sex, but you were exhausted! I'm tired of your stupid schedule, and you bailing on me! The feeling is mutual! Ever since this stupid semester started, all we do is claim we're busy! Why can't it be like winter break? Because winter break ended, Mark! The break is over! Whether you like it or not, honey, school is in session, and the winter break is past. I don't like it either, but there's nothing I can do! I just want some time with you. I'm tired of all this. 
All of it! My love, I'm sorry. I know it hurts. <laughs> Don't you have homework to do? Mark, I... <sighs> sorry, my love. I want more time with you, too. Melody? Hey, Trenton. I thought you needed some time alone. I did. However, I struggled getting over our argument. I knew facing you sooner rather than later was a good idea. <sighs> Trenton, I owe you an apology for last night. I acted like a horn dog and kept pushing despite knowing your stance on sex. Admittedly, I've been on edge lately, and it's only because I felt like going all the way with you was a sign of moving forward. I know now that there's more to a relationship than just sex, and lost sight of that. Baby, I appreciate your apology, and accept it. But... But what? What's up? I too thought about our argument and began thinking about us. Thinking about us how? Melody, I... I... I'm breaking up with you. Say what? Why? Because last night helped me realize that I can't possibly give you everything. So that means break it off? Melody, think about it. You and I will only continue arguing whenever you desire to have sex. It'll only get worse between us. But I don't want to let go. Neither do I, my love. But please be honest with yourself. You want someone to embrace you and give you something I can't provide. You're right. <laughs> we can't go on like this. Let's call it off. So be it. I'm sorry it has to be this way, beautiful. I hope to see you around. Best of luck in finding someone who will give you everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm so sorry, beautiful. Hey. Hey. Listen, about last night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I hate arguing with you. Same here. You and me. Let's lay down together on my bed and talk about it. Sounds good to me. Let's talk. Comfortable? Always. Cool. So let's talk. These past two days have been a mess. No kidding. We're both so busy. The problem is that we've failed to make time for one another, even with our busy schedules. Uh, as a result, we got irritated with each other. Mark, I know you miss the winter break. I do too. I miss having you in my arms every minute, and spending all of my time with you. So I have a suggestion. Run away together? <laughs> no, silly. Let's make the most of our free time together. Even if it's ten minutes, I want us to make them the best ten minutes ever. Can we agree to that, my love? Absolutely. Awesome. On that note, I don't have anything to do until noon. How about you? I'm free until noon as well. Wanna make up for lost time? I'm all yours for the next three hours. Hunk. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Ah, <sighs> Chad, this really isn't the time. I'm currently dealing with Melody post breakup with Trenton. Blaine, it's urgent. Please. For just a few minutes. Fine. But make it quick. Very well. I'll just get to the point. I'm here to apologize for yesterday. Seeing you in the same boat as me a month ago, combined with my disdain for hurting you, led to me feeling bad. Blaine, I'm really sorry for hurting you. I hate seeing you in pain. Aww, it's okay, Chad. 
Though I have to ask, what about us? I love you. <gasps> Chad? My feelings for you only grew stronger. Knowing that you feel the same way makes me happy. Oh, Chad. I want you, my love. But I need some more time. Time for what? Time to embrace this brand new me. I'm not quite there yet. I want to branch out and try new things. Hell, maybe even start dating. That I understand. It's plain to see that I was being too pushy. After all, it's only been three days since returning. It feels like a month already passed if you ask me. <laughs> Will you help me embrace my new self? I'd be honored to help you. In fact, I know how to kick things off. Try out for the theater club. Uh, I don't know. No! No, Chad! Instead of saying, I don't know, say, I'll do it! Your passion is theater. This would be the perfect stepping stone towards that. You're always telling me how you want to sing in front of an audience without fear. I truly believe that it's time for the new Chad Newton to step up and show off his golden voice. You're right. I'm done holding back. I'll do it. Awesome! With my help, you'll have the perfect song for your audition. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Best friend? <laughs> Best friend. And thus the real first group hangout begins. About time. Agreed. I just can't believe how busy we've become in only three days. We're juniors in college, so I can't say I'm surprised. Regardless of what's been keeping us busy, I'm just happy we're all here together. Being surrounded by all of you feels great. Preaching, Melody. So how about we make up for lost time and hang out for the rest of the day? I'm up for it! I've got nothing better to do, so why not? Count me in, buddy! I'm game. You know I'm on board, hunk. Cool. So let's talk about the AXE's reboot pilot. Holy crap! I loved it! Hey, will you be okay? I... I should be okay. Despite recent events, I think I'll be okay. I'll be here if you need comfort, beautiful. Thanks, Terry. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. My love. In conclusion. My friends and I embraced brand new situations that tested us in one way or another. Through these tests, I learned about time management and the value of downtime with my friends. When I first started this blog, my intent was to tell a specific story about my friends and I. While that's still the case, I now believe that this is also a story revolving around the six of us becoming better versions of ourselves over time. As time goes by, you'll embrace new things situations, people, and tests of the complicated kind. I urge you to take on the tough challenges with confidence. They may end up leading you to a brand new you. End blog post. thought I'd see my best friend in the same place. <laughs> hey, if you need someone to help you get to know Hoenn Harbor, I'd be more than happy to do it. Really? You'd do that for me? Of course I would. Best friend? Best friend? I almost forgot how amazing you are. I've missed you, Hunk. I've missed you too, buddy. I gotta go, but it was nice talking to you, Chris. Right back at you, Thomas.
Before you go, can we exchange numbers? Absolutely. I hope to see you around, handsome. Likewise, hunk. Later, man. Later, Thomas. Uh, my love. I want you so bad, Thomas. Soon we'll be together again. First love. <laughs>